In this video, we'll look at the formula for gallium oxide. Sometimes you'll see it called gallium three oxide like this, or even just gallium trioxide. So a few different names. We'll go with gallium oxide in this video. So let's take a look at the periodic table. Since we have a metal and a non-metal, let's look at charge here. So gallium right here, group 13, sometimes called 3A, normally three plus. And then oxygen, that's gonna be two minus. So we have our three plus and our two minus. So we write the element symbol for gallium, that's just GA, and then oxide, that's oxygen, O. So we said the gallium, that's three plus, the oxygen is two minus. These charges, they need to add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero. And we can use something called the crisscross method to make that a little easier. We can move the two here and the three here, get rid of these. And the formula for gallium oxide is GA2O3. This would also be the formula for gallium trioxide, since we have three oxygens, and for gallium three oxide, because the three plus, that's where that the Roman numeral three comes from. Let's check our work real quick though. We said the gallium was three plus, the oxygen was two minus. Three times two minus, that's six minus. Two times three plus is six plus. So these numbers here, they do add up to zero. They give us a net charge of zero. So this is the formula for gallium oxide, GA2O3. And again, sometimes you'll see the Roman numeral three in the name there because of this three plus, or you'll hear it called gallium trioxide since there are three of the oxygen atoms. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.